What's going on guys, Captain Horn 23 here and today I'm going to show you how to install the newly updated LSPDFR 0.4.7. So pretty recently, LSPDFR got an update, as well as Rage Plugin Hook and Script Hook V um, got an update, in fact, two days ago. So I'm going to make a video on how to install the newly updated versions of all of these. So let's jump right into it. All we need are three files, really. This one right here, which is obviously LSPDFR 0.4.7. We need this one, which is Rage Plugin Hook 1.78.1, .1, and Script Hook V, which is 1868.4. And this is the simple trainer, and we're going to go ahead and install that because it is extremely simple to install, and it's very, very useful. So we're going to install that today as well. Now, if you go down to the description below and you click the first link, it will bring you to the download page for LSPD First Response. Once you get on this page, just scroll down a little bit, find this green download button on the right side of the screen, hit it, and this is important, do not get the setup.exe, but rather the manual install, and just hit download and it will download right to your computer. Next link is going to be Rage Plugin Hook and it's going to bring you to this page here. Go ahead and hit this download now button and we want to select Grand Theft Auto 5 obviously we're not playing Red Dead Redemption 2 so select Grand Theft Auto 5 and download this latest version which should be 1.78 1.267.16039 I don't know why there's so many numbers but this is the latest one whichever one is on the top hit the download button and it'll download right to your computer next is script took a V it's the third link in the description as you can see it was released the 26th of May of 2020 and it's version 1868.4 you want to hit this download button right here and once you hit that it'll download right to your computer and the final one is the simple trainer just hit this big old green download button once and hit it once again on the next page and it'll download right to your computer once you have all those downloaded drag them out to your desktop like I have here next what you're going to want to do is navigate to your Grand Theft Auto main directory now this can be done very simply um, if you don't know how to get there I'm gonna show you right now how to get there now if you're on the Steam version which I am not so I'm just going to be using x 11 as an example but um, if you are on the Steam version of Grand Theft Auto 5 you want to find Grand Theft Auto 5 in your library. I'm just going to be using x 11 because, again, I don't have it on Steam. What you want to do, but it's the same for every game. You want to right-click on it, go to Properties, go to Local Files, which is the third tab over, and hit Browse Local Files right here on the top. When you click that, it brings you right to where we need to be. That's how you do it on the Steam version. Now, if you're on the Rockstar Launcher version, like I am, you want to open the Rockstar Games um, launcher, and it should have Grand Theft Auto V pulled up. If it's not, go ahead and click on it. Go to Settings up here, and then it says My Installed Games right here on the left. Click Grand Theft Auto V, and then you want to hit this View Installation folder. And when you click Open, it brings you right to Grand Theft Auto V, just like that. But um, mine is really simple, it's just located in my F drive, so obviously if you know where your Grand Theft Auto copy is, you want to um, go there. Now if you opened it by browsing the local files, what you want to do is hit this back button so we get here. Now these are the folders which contain everything we need, or you know, they, they contain the entire game of Grand Theft Auto V. Now I've already got, this is a main copy, this is my main copy, I, this is my backup copy. It's fresh, this is a fresh, clean copy. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is do exactly that. You want to make a backup just in case something goes wrong. This is very important. I used to neglect people saying make backups, but if there's anything that needs it, it's Grand Theft Auto V when you're installing LSPDFR because so many things can go wrong. So in order to make a backup, what you want to do is click on Grand Theft Auto V like that so it's highlighted. Right click on it, click copy, and just paste it right here where it's at. Now, you need a lot of storage, about 88 gigabytes right there it says, so I recommend not installing this on an SSD or um, anything that doesn't have that much space, or uh, more like a, um, a hard disk drive. That's what I'm installing it on right now. My hard disk drive has one terabyte 
and I actually have two terabytes in my computer. So, um, wait for this to finish, and I will come right back and show you guys the next steps. So guys, my backup has completed, and it should say Grand Theft Auto 5 dash copy here, and we should still have the Grand Theft Auto 5, and that is it. So once you have this backup made, this is your fresh copy. We do not want to do anything with this one. We want to go into Grand Theft Auto 5 here, and once you are in here, we can get started. Um, so the first thing we want to do is install LSPDFR. So open the WinRAR folder of LSPDFR, and it's going to have a lot of files in here. This is actually really simple. Don't let this um, look too intimidating. What you want to do is select literally everything in here, just like that. Once you highlight everything, what you want to do is press the left control key on your keyboard and click on licenses. What that does is it unhighlights licenses. Because we don't want to drag the licenses in here, it does nothing. So um, once you have everything highlighted except licenses, we can go ahead and drag and drop this into your Grand Theft Auto 5 copy. And it might take a little bit, maximum like 10 seconds probably. And once that is done, you see all these highlighted folders, that is what we just installed. We can X out of LSPDFR, we are done with that. Next is the Rage plugin hook. Open this WinRAR folder and it looks pretty identical except there's not as many files. It's the same idea, highlight everything, press the control key. This time we want to deselect licenses like last time and this SDK folder. Deselect the SDK folder. If you put this SDK folder in, it may crash your game. So you want everything selected except licenses and SDK. And once you have everything selected except licenses and SDK, just drag and drop them into your Grand Theft Auto directory. Now it's going to say um, it has 14 files with the same names. Go ahead and replace those just like that. And everything that's highlighted is everything you just dragged and dropped in. We can X out of Rage plugin and we are done with that. Script hook V, we can open that. And inside it's going to have a bin, readme, and a dev-c.com. The only thing we need to go into is the bin. So go into this bin folder. And we have three files here. The input 8, the native trainer, and script hook v.dll. Now select all three files here and press control on your keyboard and deselect native trainer. The reason we don't need the native trainer is because we're going to install that simple trainer. And it's a lot more simple, trust me, than this native trainer. So the only thing you want highlighted is dinput 8dll and scriptic.v.dll. Once you have both of these files highlighted, just drag and drop them into your Grand Theft Auto directory and they go right in. And we are done with scriptic v. Drag it aside. Next is the trainer. Open that up and it's going to have a lot of folders in here like changes.txt, readme, reference, trainerv.asi, and trainerv.ini. These bottom two files are the only ones we want to worry about. The trainerv.asi and the trainerv.ini. Just highlight both of these files here and drag and drop them into your Grand Theft Auto directory. Just like that. And once you are done with that, X out of that and we are done with everything. Now, after you have installed everything like we just did, what you want to do is scroll down until you see this Rage plugin hook here. After you see this, you want to right click on it and go to Send to Desktop. What this does is it creates a shortcut, so click on Desktop and there we go, it pops up right here. And we don't even need the Grand Theft Auto main directory, so we can close that up. Now, once you have sent Rage plugin hook to your desktop, we can double click on that and open it. And it's going to pop up with this and it makes you wait five seconds. It's just a terms of agreement, just hit accept or read it if you wish. And this is going to ask if you want to back up your current game version. Go ahead and hit yes on this as well. And what this does is it creates a backup just in case Grand Theft Auto updates and you won't be able to play LSPDFR if it does update. I've had to deal with that twice now. And after it's done, this will pop up. Now this is very important guys. On this general tab, which is what it opens up to, it says plugin timeout threshold is 10,000 milliseconds. Now what this does is, if a, I'm pretty sure if a plugin is not responding within um, 10,000 milliseconds, then it's gonna crash or be terminated by Rage plugin. So what you want to do is change this one to a six. All this does is it gives it more time to load up to prevent crashes. 
So um, change it to 60,000 milliseconds from the 10,000. Next, you want to go to Plugins tab right over here. And it says, don't load any plugins on startup, load all plugins on startup, load these plugins on startup. This is what I do. Always hit the load these plugins on startup, and it lets you select LSPD first response. Go ahead and check mark LSPD first response, and then select load all plugins on startup. Now, it's not going to let you select LSPD first response, but it is checked already since we went to load these plugins on startup. And once you have LSPD checked and load all plugins on startup selected, uh, we are done on this page. You don't want to mess with anything on advanced settings or game settings. Once you have this all set up, once you change this to 60,000, we can go ahead and hit save and launch. And this is going to pop up, just hit OK. And once we get in the game, I will be right back. Don't forget to join my LSPDFR and X-Plane 11 community discord. In here I have many channels related to LSPDFR including 4 help channels with helpers standing by to assist you with any issue you may have with LSPDFR. I also have X-Plane related channels where you can come in here and talk with other people that play X-Plane and make new friends. And you can also go on group flights and VATSIM with your friends. I will also be going on group flights with people, so if you wish to fly with me, or even play LSPDFR with me, feel free to join the Discord. I'm always looking for new members, the link to join the Discord will be in the description. Alright guys, so once you are in the game, what you want to do is press escape on your keyboard and we now have this LSPDFR tab, which is right beside brief and settings. Go ahead and click on this LSPDFR tab and hit character and then go to nearest police station. And once we are at the police station, you're going to have to walk around and find the entrance. Um, it's going to be right around this way if you get my exact same police station. Go around to the right here and it's these doors right here. Sometimes you do gotta like walk around and find the right door and you'll know it's right if it says like that, press E to enter Davis Sheriff Station. And once you are in here, it might take a little bit to load, you want to press go on duty. Just hit enter on your keyboard to go on duty. It's gonna say some funny little things down there. And it's gonna ask, um, we need to make a character to use for LSPDFR. And uh, this is required, so hit OK, which is enter on your keyboard. And it's going to have this cool little effect, like you're getting your mug shot taken. Right here. <laughs> I really like that. It's the detail that counts, right? And once you're in here, you can select... Um, you can just make your, um, your character. I always select... Uh, what's her name? It's uh, Nicole and Santiago. That's who I always select. And you can change your resemblance to either parent and skin tone as well. And you can mess around with the features and the appearances where you can adjust what hairstyle you have. So um, I usually take one that's like that. You can change the color and all that. You can add some facial hair just like that. I like to keep my character looking kind of like that. And once you're done, you can hit save and continue and give your character a name. Just like that. And then hit use. And that's how you create your character there. Which is required to play LSPDFR. And once you have your character, you have access to police locker, police garage, or you can go off duty. Police locker I never use because I use EUP as well as like everybody else. But um, go into Police Garage, and this is where you can select different cars. Now you can change your cars because I gotta say, these cars do not look the best, which I assume they are just the default LSPDFR. I mean, I'm um, sorry, not the LSPDFR, the default Grand Theft Auto police cars. Select whichever one and hit save and continue. And now we are in a police car and we are on duty, which means we will get calls. And um, the default LSPDFR does not really come with much um, features at all, literally, like nothing. Um, even the computer system is kind of trash, which is why I install like a bunch of plugins. That's another thing, guys. Um, be sure to check out, I have an entire playlist on my channel of installing the best mods for LSPDFR, including EUP and 
Compu Light, Stop the Ped, which is like the main mod, ELS, everything. So go check those out. Um, and we're going to get some call outs. To accept a call out, you just press Y. And to turn on your sirens, it's just E. And this is non ELS. And oh my god, I wish this car would get out of the way. But um, yeah, you can start doing call outs and playing like a police. And like I said, once you add more mods, it becomes like 100 times more fun. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, you, you just get lost in the world of LSPDFR because of how realistic it is and stuff. And um, we're chasing this guy here. Uh, in order to pull over a car, you need to press left shift behind them. And then just activate your siren. And the computer system is Q, I believe. But like I said, the default system just absolutely sucks. So um, you want to get like CompuLite or Computer Plus. Those are the two main ones. A lot of people use CompuLite by Bajojo. And um, I'm not even sure the default commands with LSPDFR. But I'm going to try to get this guy to stop. And I'm pretty sure the arrest key is like, you just got to press E on them or something. I wish this guy would stop. Try a pit maneuver. Dang, that was a pretty good pit, wasn't it? Alright, I'm just going to shoot his tires out then. Just like that, that'll get him to come out. And in order to take down somebody like I just did, you just press and hold E on them. And they will get on their face on the ground, just like that. And inside of the truck, yep, that makes a lot of sense. Then you just go right over them and press and hold E to arrest the suspect. And it will say cuffing in the bottom right. And you get him up. And he's got his hand behind his back. And I actually, see, right here is where stop the ped really comes in handy. Because um, you can, like, pat them down and ask them questions. Um, yeah, I really don't remember the default commands, but that's how you install LSPDFR the default like I said Be sure to check out um, all my videos on my channel um, Of installing I have like 40 something different videos of installing Different mods that just make this game amazing and I'm gonna upload some more uh, Gameplay of LSPDFR the way I like it and you can see what I have and I'll have all my mods listed and um, I do have all my mods listed in the Discord. That's another thing. Don't forget to join the Discord if you have any issues. We can help you out there. And it's a nice community. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you installed LSPDFR. And don't forget to like and subscribe and keep an outlook for future videos. I will be posting X-Plane 11 videos here very soon. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.